to town. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big <gasps> red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Toss. Thanks. Now you go. Okay. Here I go. Ugh. You're one of the best stick tossers ever, Clifford. <laughs> yeah, but we might have to wait a while before it comes down. Oh, Caroline, I really appreciate your family keeping Cleo while I get the house painted. I'm sure Clifford will love having her stay with us for the next few days. I think Cleo is really excited about it, too. Hey guys, guess what? What, Cleo? Come on, guess! Right now we're waiting for Clifford's stick to come down. So, just guess! Uh, you got a new bow. Yeah, I did, but that's not it. You guess, Clifford. Uh, you smell like flowers today. I do? Oh, yeah, I do. Here it comes, Clifford! <laughs> Got it! Good catch! Way to go, Clifford! Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Tell us what, Cleo? Well, guess who gets to spend three whole days and two whole nights right here with Clifford? You? Yeah, me! Isn't it great? Clifford and I will be together for three whole days, morning, noon, and night. That's great, Cleo. Yeah. Come on, you guys can help me bring my stuff into Clifford's doghouse. Sure, no problem. Follow me, my stuff is just around the corner. Okay, Clifford, bring her in. Okay, stop. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. I'm not sure I have room for all this in my doghouse, Cleo. Sure you do. We could put some of your stuff in a corner or something. Oh, well, okay. I'd like to stay and help you guys unpack, but I have to go. Sheriff Lewis is taking me to Dr. Dan for a checkup today. Well, I have to go too, Cleo. It's time to pick up Emily Elizabeth from school. It's our special time together. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's go get Emily. I don't remember you asking Cleo to go along with you. It's okay, she's my friend. Come on, Emily's waiting. It's almost time, Cleo. The bell is going to ring any minute now. This is fun. Maybe I should do this with you every day. Uh, no, that's okay, Cleo. Here they come! <laughs> hey, Clifford! <laughs> it's good to see you too, Clifford. Ruff, 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 ruff. 
Oh, look! Clifford brought Cleo with him today. Oh, isn't she cute? She's so adorable. That was really nice of you to bring her along today, Clifford. <laughs> Hi, Cleo! Hello, you sweet little girl. Quiet time now. Quiet time? What for? Emily Elizabeth's doing her homework. If we're really quiet, she can finish her homework and have time to play before dinner. Oh, okay. It took her a long time to finish her homework because we were so loud. Your bed is nice, Clifford. Maybe I'll sleep in here with you tonight. Uh, I take up a lot of room. <laughs> Heck, this bed is plenty big. <laughs> Come on, lay down. Okay. <sighs> ah, there now. Isn't that cozy? Yeah, it's great. story tonight, Cleo. <laughs> Let's see. Do you guys want me to read a story about a dog? <laughs> or a story about a farm? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cleo. Clifford loves the one about the dog, but since you're the guest, we'll read about the farm. <laughs> to school with me this morning? some time for just the two of us, too. morning without me. Gee, Cleo, maybe you just wanted some time alone with Emily Elizabeth. You think so? 
Yeah, Clifford really needs his time with her. Hey, guys, what's going on? Don't worry, Clifford. T-Bone explained everything, and I forgive you. Huh? Cleo saw you and Emily Elizabeth leave this morning without her. And I thought that meant you wanted me to leave. Oh, no, I don't want you to leave, Cleo. I know. Can you believe I was being so silly? Come on, you guys can bring all my stuff back in now. Oh, and Clifford, could you take down a couple of those pictures of Emily? I want to put up some of these pictures of me as a puppy. Well, come on, guys. What are you waiting for? What is wrong, Clifford? You know, Cleo, I do really like having you stay with me. Thanks. I like staying here. And I want you to have everything you need and want while you're here so you'll be happy. But sometimes I wish you would think about what I might need. Oh. You mean like time alone with Emily? Uh-huh. And room to sleep in your bed? Definitely. And me to be quiet when you ask me to be quiet? That would be great. Oh, boy. I haven't been a very good friend at all. I just came into your doghouse and took over. I didn't even think about you. I am really sorry, Clifford. Thanks, Cleo. If I promise to try and be a better friend, can I stay a few more days? Of course. You can stay for a week if you want to, Cleo. Thanks, but I can't stay that long. I only pack for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the New Ball. One day, Reba was showing Speckle her new red ball. She bounced the ball so high, it almost touched the clouds. That is a great ball, said Speckle. It sure is, agreed Reba. In fact, I'll bet Ravi would like to play with it, too. And she walked away, taking her new ball with her. I thought she wanted to play with me, he sighed. He was even a little sad. But Reba can play with whoever she wants, Speckle thought. And he went back to his sandbox. He began building a sandcastle when Reba's new ball suddenly landed at his feet. Speckle looked up and saw Reba and Ravi. Are you ready to play ball, asked Reba. Speckle realized that all along, Reba had wanted to play with Ravi and him. Okay, he yelled back, and the three of them laughed and played and had a wonderful day. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Clifford says be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library to discover all kinds of books, both big and small. Dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org.